Hey guys, Tom here from Back Garden Bushcraft. Back in the woods, me and Dad are here for an overnighter. We're here for a camp out. And we, uh, we brought with us some shovels and we've made ourselves a nice stone fire pit. So to celebrate, we're gonna get our fire on and just enjoy some camp vibes. So um, fire pit there, as you can see, point to it, Tom, there you are. Fire pit there, nice uh, sort of stone ring uh, insulated with sand and clay. Um, they've got my tarp, my Thornhill 3x3 there in the background as well, lovely tarp. And yeah, we're really looking forward to spending a night here. It's been a nice, uh, nice day, it's been quite sunny and we're hoping the weather holds out for us. So I do hope you'll enjoy this little camping video um, and enjoy seeing my new fire pit in the woods. So um, let's get on with it, let's light that fire. So you guys know Dad. He's been in so many of my videos now. Um, we love camping together and uh, it's gonna be great to spend a night here in Webwood uh, with just the two of us. So um, yeah, it should be fun. So guys, first fire has been lit in the fire pit. We were very careful. Uh, the stones we've got, uh, we've tried to get non-porous stones. We haven't got any stones from any water courses or any rivers or anything. Um, and we've lined the stones with sand and clay because there's always a danger of heating up rocks. If they've got water trapped inside them, they can pop. Uh, we've definitely uh, tried to select rocks that aren't like sandstone, um, but it is possible some of these may crack but we have lined them with clay and sand to try and dissipate some of that heat. Um, we're gonna light a big old fire in here, stand back, make sure none of the rocks, rocks are uh, prone to popping and uh, we should be good to go. But as I said, we've uh, really thought about this and really tried to insulate those stones um, from the main uh, majority of the flames. We've lined the bottom again with, with uh, clay and uh, sand and uh, mud and we've pulled up any roots as well, uh, just to make sure it's a really safe way of having a fire. So yeah, it's looking really good. Uh, I'm loving having it, it's very traditional looking and it just looks awesome. So yeah, very happy. Right then guys, I've got the dinner on. We've got some seasoned chicken thigh going on there. We're gonna use it to make uh, some pita breads and uh, douse this in sriracha sauce. It'll be absolutely delicious. So obviously with a woodland comes a lot of woodland management, uh, coppice work, brush clearing, and all that sort of thing. And uh, a traditional uh, hedge laying tool and uh, coppice tool is a bill hook. Now, me and dad picked this up at a dump for 50 pence and it was a hunk of rust you could have hit yourself with it and it wouldn't have cut you it was so blunt 
Um, it was like a, a butter knife, completely rounded. The point had gone, the hook had basically gone, and you couldn't even see the logo, uh, which as you can see is WS. Um, might mean Wilkinson Sword, I'm not sure. If any of you guys know, let me know. Um, but I basically cleaned this up today and restored it and reprofiled the edge, put a convex edge on it and uh, cleaned it up. And yeah, it's a pretty nice tool now. I've been uh, chopping firewood with it, battening it, chopping, um, delimbing some fallen trees and it's pretty useful. And I've just found this fallen stick here that you can see it resting on which I believe is from the poplars around. So this limb I believe is from the poplar trees that are around this campsite. And using my newly restored bill hook, I'm gonna try and get a one tool option bow drill fire from this piece of poplar. Let's have a go, let's just play while the dinner's cooking. Might as well earn my dinner. Well guys, with a bit of trial and error and finding out different methods of using the bill hook, I fashioned a quick and dirty bow drill set. So I've got the bow, I've got the hearth, I've got the spindle and I've got the bearing block there. Really, really fun trying new tools and trying things out. The fact that I got this for 50 pence and have restored it myself, pretty cool. <laughs>
Well, guys, there's dinner, chicken kebabs, sriracha, mayo, crunchy cabbage and salad in a pitta. Looks absolutely delicious. I've certainly earned it. That was not an easy bow drill set, but I managed to get it going. Used the bill hook as a one tool. And yeah, that's the first bow drill straight from the land in this woodland. And it rained for the last two days here. So yeah, pretty happy with myself. And I definitely earned this. So I'm going to get this down me. I um, probably won't film much more because it's so dark um, and quite late. Me and dad are just going to enjoy some beers around the fire and um, enjoy the ambience of being outside. So I'll bring you back just before we go to bed and uh, I'll see you guys then. Well guys, I've made a moth friend. He won't leave my arm. Every time I brush him off, he comes back and lands again. So yeah, so my moth friend, I'm going to call him Max. Max the moth. And we're pals. Well guys, it's been an absolutely lovely evening with Dad, watching the fire, practicing skills, eating lovely food. I brought some single malt scotch whiskey, so we've been enjoying that. And now I'm just gonna doze off in my tarp, watching the flames. And uh, yeah, we went out to the track and walked along it and looked up at the stars, and it was just absolutely delightful. It was like such a perfect evening. And uh, yeah, it's been great. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing what you've seen today. Uh, we'll bring you back in the morning. We've got some breakfast. We've got some skills we're going to do and some uh, some fun we're going to have. So I uh, hope you'll enjoy that and I'll see you in the morning. I hope you all sleep well. Night night. So breakfast is pretty much there now. Uh, sausages are all lovely and caramelised. The bread's toasted, so we're going to make up a lovely sausage sandwich. I've already had two coffees. I'm about to have my third. Then I think I'm going to have a pipe and do some archery. So um, Dad had his first night in the tarp yesterday. Dad, how did you get on? Great, really good. Loved it. Good. So Dad really enjoyed himself. We had such a nice evening yesterday. And um, yeah, looking forward to more woodland fun today. Um, right, let's get these sausages in us and uh, get on with the day. 
Well guys, there's my breakfast. Looks divine. Lovely sausages in really crusty bread. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to go eat this and then uh, get on with the day. Well guys, we had a lovely breakfast, nice cups of coffee and a pipe. Now I think I'm gonna do some archery. I've got my compound bow with me. So I'm gonna use that, hit some targets, get some practice in, and then probably head for home. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab my bow, grab my arrows, set my backstop target and stuff that I leave here, and then uh, get doing some target practice. So dad's never shot a compound before and uh, I just taught him how to do it and we've been at 10 meters uh, shooting. Dad, how did it feel? It's fantastic, it's such a feeling. It's, uh, the first two or three arrows I shot didn't have any feel for it at all and then I suddenly clicked and got the feel. It's a real feel thing with this. I've really enjoyed it. I'm gonna go and have a look at my group. Let's go Should with go? him. Yeah. Well, a bit right, but... <laughs> I think that's pretty damn good for a first time. <laughs> well, guys, uh, that was a great little archery session. Even Dad had a go, and he actually did very well for his first attempt. We got him out to 10 metres, and he was hitting pretty accurately. Um, so we can start moving him back on the distance. I can... Um, start tightening my grouping. I, I tried uh, shooting from a bit further away today and yes my grouping got a bit wider as I got further away but um, yeah I tried it at 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters and then as far back as I could get before I hit trees uh, and obscured the, the view of my target. Um, so really cool that the compound bow can reach out and touch the target even at those distances. Um, had a great time with dad it was really nice to have him camp here in my woods. Um, yeah it's just been lovely like really really fun i'm super stoked i got the bow drill last night that uh took some real determination as it just obviously it's been raining here for quite a quite a bit this week i think the last three days there's been a touch of rain here um and that uh poplar log i used was straight off the damp floor um so i had to battle a bit of moisture to get the ember but we got there in the end um and yeah i just felt a real sense of satisfaction getting that a real test of my skills and yeah it's just been great so stay tuned for the next video the next adventure and i'll see you guys then stay safe